In this video, we'll try to understand how to find out brake power, brake thermal efficiency, brake mean effective pressure and relative efficiency in case of a petrol engine. Now let us see the problem statement over here. So the four cylinder petrol engine having eight centimeter bore and 12 centimeter stroke works on four stroke cycle. Clearance volume per cylinder is given as 0.06 liter. Torque developed at 3800 rpm is 150 newton meter. Then fuel consumption is 13.5 kg per hour. And we have to calculate the value of brake power, then brake thermal efficiency if calorific value of fuel is 42,000 kilojoule per kg. Then brake mean effective pressure and relative efficiency if gamma is equal to 1.4 for air. So let us start with the data which is given to us and we will convert the data in the appropriate units. So x is equal to number of cylinders and it is a four cylinder engine. So x is equal to four, d is equal to diameter or bore and that is given as eight centimeter. So we have converted it into meter. Stroke length is 12 centimeter that also we have converted into meter. Clearance volume is given in terms of liter. So one liter is 10 raised to minus three meter cube. So 0 0.06 liter will be equal to 0 0.06 into 10 raised to minus three meter cube. Speed in RPM is given as 3800. Convert that value into RPS. So it is 63.3333 revolutions per second. Torque is 150 Newton meter. Number of strokes is equal to four. Now fuel consumption is 13.5 kg per hour. We'll convert that value into second. So it is 13.5 divided by 3600 kg per second. That is 3.75 into 10 raised to minus three kg per second. Calorific value of fuel is given as 42,000 kilojoule per kg. And gamma is 1.4 for air. And we have to find out these particular values. First, we'll start with brake power. So brake power is given as two pi nt upon 1000. Now here we have not included 60 term because n is already converted in revolutions per second. So the torque we have converted into kilonewton meter and therefore this particular 1000 term is there. So let us balance the units first. So n is in revolutions per second. Torque which is in newton meter divided by this 1000 will convert that value in kilonewton meter. So we can say that it is kilonewton meter per second. Newton meter is nothing but joule. So it is nothing but kilojoule per second or kilowatt. And therefore we are getting this particular value in kilowatt. So brake power that we have obtained is 59.69 kilowatt. Now we have to find out the value of brake mean effective pressure. So brake power is given as number of cylinders into brake mean effective pressure expressed in terms of kilopascal that is kilonewton per meter square area is in meter square stroke length is in meter and number of working strokes are per second so this meter square will get cancelled again we'll have kilonewton meter per second that is nothing but kilojoule per second second that is nothing but kilowatt now first we'll find out the value of area of cylinder so it is pi by 4 d square just substitute the value of d so we'll get area in meter square as 5.0265 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square. Now as it is a four stroke engine, the number of working strokes are n upon 2 because in every two revolutions of the crankshaft there is one power stroke. So therefore number of working strokes will be equal to n upon 2 and that will be 31.6666 per second. And we have to substitute all these values in equation A. But we have to find out the value of BMAP. So first we'll formulate the equation for BMAP. So brake power on the left hand side and transfer is x then a l and n terms on the left hand side so brake mean effective pressure will be equal to this particular value so substitute brake power then number of cylinders are four area then stroke length that is l and number of working strokes so we'll get brake power in kilonewton per meter square as 781.2521 now we have to find out the value of brake thermal efficiency so definition of brake thermal efficiency is output divided by input that is brake power divided by heat supplied and heat supplied is given as mass of fuel into calorific value of fuel. So substitute the values of brake power and mass of fuel and calorific value of fuel. So that value comes out to be 37.899 percentage. Now relative efficiency we have to compare this with the air standard efficiency. So for the petrol engine first we will have to find out what will be the compression ratio. So stroke volume will be pi by 4 d square into L. 
so substitute the value of d and l and we'll get the value of stroke volume as 6.0318 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter cube so compression ratio will be vs plus vc upon vc so stroke volume just now we have calculated clearance volume is given to us so we'll get the compression ratio as 11.053 Already we have derived that the air standard efficiency in case of auto cycle is given as 1 minus 1 upon R raised to gamma minus 1 into 100. So value of compression ratio is 11.053 raised to gamma minus 1 that is 1.4 minus 1 into 100. So the value of air standard efficiency is 61.7522 percent. Then relative efficiency it is the comparison of the actual efficiency with the standard efficiency. So brake thermal efficiency divided by air standard efficiency. So that is nothing but 37.898 divided by 61.7522 into 100. So that value comes out to be 61.371%. So in this way we can solve the example on IC engine. Thank you very much for watching.